Hi, I'm Dr. John Bergsma, a professor of theology at Franciscan University where I teach scripture. And I'd like to wrap up our discussion of discipleship the same way that the Gospel of John does. We can understand the Gospel of John as a book about discipleship. And at the end of the Gospel, we have a very beautiful story. It is morning on the Sea of Galilee, and the disciples have been toiling all night in their boat trying to fish unsuccessfully. And there's Jesus at the shore, and they don't recognize him, but he calls to them, and they call back, and he tells them to throw the net on the other side. And they do that, and then they have this miraculous catch of fish, 153 large fish that they cannot even bring in. So with the help of Peter, they, they bring that net to the shore, and then a conversation between Peter and our Lord ensues, where our Lord asks Peter three times, do you love me? And three times Peter responds, you know that I love you. And then the final thing our Lord says to Peter is, follow me. And when Peter turns around and observes that uh, the beloved disciple John is following them, and Peter starts asking questions about that man, Jesus redirects his attention and says, uh, what do you care about that man? As for you, follow me. And so those are the last words that we hear from Jesus in the Gospel of John. To get the full impact of this story, we need to recall that in Luke 5, we have the account of how Jesus began his ministry with the disciples. And the beginning of his ministry was the same way it ended. It was with a miraculous catch of fish in a boat in the Sea of Galilee. Luke 5 is the account where after a night of unsuccessful fishing, Jesus gets into Peter's boat, preaches from Peter's boat, and then tells them to let down their nets for a catch. And after that miraculous catch of fish, Peter says, depart from me, Lord, from a sinful man. And then Jesus says, from now on you'll be, you'll be fishing for men. And then it says that they left everything and followed him. So when we look at the beginning of Jesus' call to the disciples in Luke 5 and the end of his ministry with the disciples in John 21, both are the theme of follow me. And that's what it means to be a disciple. It's to follow Christ. And part of the point in John 21 is they have had a lot of education over the past three years as they've walked around Galilee with Jesus. They've now had several 900 level courses in theology with the inventor of the discipline of theology. So they have learned a great deal. And yet at the end of all that education that they have, Jesus renews with them the same call he gave to them when they were simple fishermen and knew no theology, very little scripture, etc. at all. And that really speaks to me because no matter where we go in our life of discipleship, whether we're a high school student starting out sensing a call from God or a person later in life having a conversion or someone who's been studying and working in the church for a long time and build up a great deal of experience. No matter where we are in our path of discipleship, it always remains the same. Follow me. Sometimes we have to go back and think about what were those circumstances under which God first followed me. Uh, excuse, excuse me. What were those circumstances under which Christ first gave me his call. And Pope Francis has encouraged us to do that in some of his homilies. For those of us that have experienced conversion in our life, to go back and think, what were the circumstances under which I first heard God calling my name? And to rehearse that our mind and to remember it and to let those memories stir up those affections and that love that we had at first to keep that fresh and to keep that anew. It's that concept of uh, what St. Jose Maria called beginning again. Uh, that was a very important point in the spirituality of that saint, uh, St. Jose Maria Escrivá. Uh, he constantly reiterated to his spiritual sons that every morning we have to put aside our failures, have a short memory, uh, put our failures in the hands of God, and then begin again for that day. Here again, uh, Jesus' call to follow me for that day. From the first to last, it's always about that. Follow me.